I'd like to say Oklahoma, and if I say that and it's wrong, Roger will be traumatised for the rest of his life because he'll think that I've taken his advice. <laughs> I'd like to say Oklahoma. I would like to say Oklahoma. Now take the money. And take the money, end of. Is that your final answer? My final answer, thank you very much. Okay, give her a big hand. Maureen goes away, £10,000 better off. <laughs> you see, if you said... What do you like? If you'd said Oklahoma, you wouldn't be sitting here with 10 grand anymore. Oh, no. Roger would be traumatised. <gasps> and you would have just lost £9,000. <gasps> The audience, 36% of them were right. The right answer was the king no. and I. No, Did you no. do the Sorry, right thing? Sorry, audience, didn't I just? Yeah. No Give her a big hand. She goes away with £10,000. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> you frightened me. Yes, ma'am. Do it, Darren. What price? We've got a brand new, freshly scrubbed lineup of 10 people who were selected during our recent nationwide auditions. Will one of them get rich quick tonight? Let's meet them and find out. They are Craig Hunter from Aberdeenshire, Marilyn Meredith Vale of Morgan, Alan Bullwich from West Yorkshire, Mirandola Gonzaga from London, Alison Smith from Essex, Brian Johnson from County Antrim. Marie Noel Chesterfield from West Sussex. Kathy Blacklock from Somerset. Dawn Chipchase from Lancashire. Susanna Boyd from Berkshire. Well, looking terribly pleased with themselves. This is at the smile off their face. Fastest finger first, here we go. Let's see which of our auditionees will make the next and final step towards that chair and a possible million pound check. It has happened, it can happen. We have one question. It has four answers, only one correct order. Let's see if you can give us that correct order in the shortest possible time. No distraction, please, from the audience. I need them to concentrate. Right. Ten of you start. Here's your first question. Put these words in the order they appear in a famous song title. Best Diamonds Friend Girls. at the speed of light, but I don't know if they're right or wrong. Let's see, this is the right order. It's pretty straightforward, this. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. So that's the right order. Now, 10 out of 10. We might have done. Let's have a look. How many got it right out of 10? No, not at all. Who was fast? Susanna Boyd in 3.4 Looking very apprehensive is Susanna Boyd, a trainee lawyer from Slough. Susanna is a Cambridge history graduate. Uh, she's currently applying to join a London law firm with a view to becoming a barrister. She's brought along another trainee barrister to give her a bit of moral support this evening. He's fellow legal eagle Liam, her partner of the last two years. Uh, the one thing Susanna is desperately hoping to do on the show is clear her large student debts. But if there is any change, she'll be taking Liam on a much-needed holiday to America or Mexico. And she'd also like to treat Liam to his barrister's very pricey wig and gown, which apparently he's going to need very soon. And then she'll be doing some serious shopping for herself in Bond Street. Good girl. Right. Twelve questions, three brand new lifelines. One million pounds is the formula. Lots of luck, Susanna. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Question number one is for £500. Here we go. Which of these is a training instrument for pilots? Flight attendant, flight simulator, flight deck, flight path. That's B, Chris, flight simulator. You have £500. Is that no problem? <laughs> this is question number two. It guarantees you a thousand here it is. What was the most popular name for the kings of France? Georges, Louis, 
Jean. Victor. I hope my history serves me right, but I think it's B. Louis. Your history does serve you right. You have £1,000. <laughs> so far yes Car? better now better. you were sitting at home with the telly on watching this yes and your mum and dad were with you and they said you ought to do this you'd be yes. good on this yes and you're here i know it's strange isn't it it's and are you going to be good on this hopefully hopefully i mean it it just depends on the questions doesn't it, it just... yes oh no it depends on the answers really <laughs> um right you have a thousand pounds that's guaranteed question number three is for two thousand what nationality is the tennis player Rafael Nadal, Spanish, Italian, Croatian, Greek. Yeah. Um, let's just think. Yeah, that's a Spanish. Sure. As I can be. Final answer? Yes, please. It's the right answer. You got two thousand pounds. <laughs> You got £2,000. You have three lifelines untouched. Question number four is for £5,000. Here it comes. What kind of furniture is a secretaire? Chair, desk, bed, wardrobe. Right. Now, it makes sense for it to be a desk. Do I need to test that? Do I need to make sure? Oh, this is so much harder. <laughs> then what? Um, then on the telly. So no, no, we're, watch my lips. We're on the telly I know, now. I know. <laughs> That's what we're doing here. Audience, cameras, I know, I know. microphones, telly. <laughs> it's so much harder than on the telly. <laughs> I know what right. you mean, actually. It's very what kind uh, of furniture is right. the secretary? Chair, Secretary. desk, bed, wardrobe. One of those is worth five thousand pounds. I'm sure it's a desk. On the plate. Yes, B desk. Final answer. Yes. You just won five thousand pounds. <laughs> doing this for a long time as we have I'm always horrified at the amount of student loans just how yes. high they get now you've got five thousand pounds at this moment are you anywhere near paying off your debt no how much further do we have to go up I don't want to say <laughs> I don't your mum and dad say. don't know I bet oh they do oh, they, they do. do yeah but, it's, but um, it's it's a bit more it's a bit more I find it terrifying yeah. I've got two I've got from the first degree and then the law conversion as well so we've, we've got to go a bit higher no, you've got to go. <laughs> OK, you have, but you're in good shape to do yeah. it. You've got £5,000. You have no lifelines used as yet. Question number five is for £10,000. Here it comes. What are most likely to be carried in band boxes? Roses, hats, cakes, pets. Right, I think I know, but I do want to ask the audience. Right, audience, it's worth £10,000, so serious phone. Let's have a look. Uh, this is the question. What are most likely to be carried in band boxes? Now, A on your keypad is roses, B is hats, C is cakes, D is pets. It's worth £10,000 to Susanna. It's the first lifeline she's needed. A, B, C or D, all vote now. Why are you nodding excitedly? Is that what you thought? That's what I thought, and I'm kicking myself. I didn't go for it, but there you go. You don't know you don't well, it's a big majority, because only 6% yeah. think it's roses, 85% 
think it's hats. Yeah. Uh, 7% think it's cakes you carry in your band box. <laughs> and 2% think you carry your pet in the band no, box. Um, it's yes. up to you, but it's a high old percentage. Yeah. I'll play, please, the hats. You're suddenly very confident. I trust the audience. Final answer? Yeah. It's the right answer. You've got £10,000. <laughs> Um, have we done your student loan yet? We're getting better. We're getting there. We're getting there. Serious yeah. money you have to pay back, isn't it? You know, you were talking about Liam up there. Yeah. You were saying you'd like enough money to buy him his wig and gown. Yeah. Well, how much does that cost? £600. What? £600. For a wig and gown? That's just for the wig. The gown's on top of that. Blimey. It's expensive business. It's very expensive. Yeah. Right. Question number six is for 20 grand. It's getting serious money now. Um, you would lose £9,000 here, Susanna, if you gave me a wrong answer. Uh, but it's worth £20,000. You could double your money. Have a look. You have two lifelines. Which of these is the name of a Scottish island? Brandy, gin, rum, whiskey. Time to phone a friend, I think. I have an idea, but I do need to talk to someone about that. And... Who are we going to call? What do you think? I think it's A or D, but I could be... Brandy or whiskey? Yeah, but I, I could be way off, I don't know. Um, OK. Can we call John, please? OK, what's he do? John is retired and he's a very good friend of my dad's. OK, we'll phone John. Thank you. Tell him the question, uh, see what he says. You've still got a 50-50 if it's hell. And you could still walk away with £10,000. Hello? John? Hello, Chris. <laughs> it's Chris Tarrant here. How are you? But then I think you gathered that. I'm very oh, well, thank you. Did. <laughs> How are you? Not too bad, thank you. Ah, good. Right. Now, well, you know why I'm calling then. You know Susanna's in the chair. I do. John, it's serious money. It's for 20 grand. Right. All right, mate. So the next voice here will be Susanna's. Okay. She will tell you the question. There are still four possible answers. One of these is worth twenty thousand to her. Right. All right, mate. Right, Susanna. Lots of love, darling. Your time starts now. Hi, John. Hi, Sue. Which of these is the name of a Scottish island? A brandy, B gin, C rum, or D whiskey? Rum. How sure, John? Okay. How sure? Rum, sure. Are you absolutely sure? Sure, rum, 100%. Thank you, John. Bye. <laughs> he's great, isn't he? <laughs> well, he's great if he's right. I trust him. I trust him. He did sound very, very, yeah. very confident. Yeah. But he thought it was brandy or whiskey. Yeah, but I don't know anything about John. Yeah, C, rum. We're going to go for rum. Final answer. Final answer. He's a good phone friend. You've got £20,000. <laughs> Recall the past, hope for the best, because on Timeline, time is money. Timeline, a brand new game show with Brian Connolly, continues this Thursday at 9, exclusively on Challenge.